Good day, gerbils and gerbilettes. We're here today to talk about land navigation, and we're going to do a little trick today called resection. Uh, resection is, allows you to find your current position on a map, on a topo map, based upon uh, compass azimuths to known terrain features that you can see in the distance. This part of the country, that's not so easy, uh, unless you're way up high on another hill or something, but we'll get over here and show you how to do this on these maps, and we'll probably do some more of these, triangulation, intersection, and other things, but today it's going to be about resection. So, stand by, let me get over here and move this camera where you can see, because it's a high quality production, as you can tell. Stand by. All right, guys, as, as you can see here, we're working on a topo map. This is a one to 10,000 scale map. I'm not going to get into scales and all this kind of stuff. But first thing we have to do is make sure this map matches our terrain. And the way we do that is we set our compass to north. You can do this on a grid line or you can do this on the margin of the map. We set this map, or I'm sorry, we set this compass along the edge, make sure everything's nice and flush. And then we spin this map, the entire map, until our red needle wrong way there so red needle is in the red shed or the needle in the doghouse whatever terminology you want to use so there we go now our map matches our terrain so i will make sure i've got some weights on here if i were in the field this would be some sticks or, or rocks or whatever we got so we we'll make sure we're good now let's assume for a second that i am somewhere in this creek bottom i don't really know because i'm just wandering around in here right but I can see in the distance this hilltop and this hilltop. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand and I'm going to shoot an azimuth to the top of the hilltop, the peak or whatever I can see on this hill right here. So let's just for shits and giggles, let's say that that hilltop is... From my position, let's say this hilltop is 340 degrees, right? 340. Now, pay no attention to this needle. There's some metal under this table and screwing it all up. But 340 is what I'm shooting to the top of this hill. So I'm going to take a pencil from the top of that hill right down the edge of this base plate of this compass. All right, got a nice little line right here, if you can see. Now I'm going to shoot an azimuth to my second hilltop that I can see in a distance. Same drill. Let's say this one happens to be at 20 degrees. I'm going to lay that base plate of that compass on that hill from my position at the 20 degrees. And I'm going to draw a line right down the edge of that compass. The point at which these two lines intersect is my current position. Now, this is a little rough diagram. This compass, as you can see, there's some bolts. This is an old wire spool is what this is. I got for our goats, but uh, you wouldn't be operating around any metal. You gotta watch out for wrist watches, things like that, but that's a hypothetical. So you shoot an azimuth to the first hill, draw a line, lay your compass down, red thread in the shed, draw a line down the base plate. Shoot an azimuth to the second hilltop, red thread in the shed, draw the line down the base plate. Where those two lines intersect is your current position. <sighs> First bourbon of the day. All right, guys, that's how you do resection. Orient your map, shoot your azimuths to two terrain features that you can see off into the distance, draw a line down the base plate of the compass back to your current location. Where those lines intersect is your current location. Then you can get your grid coordinate, do what you gotta do, but that's how you determine a coordinate. I'll do some more on these uh, on things like this, like triangulation and intersection over the few, next few few days. And uh, it's a good skill to have. So you search and rescue folks, or you will people to get out and backpack and hike and stuff. Uh, get you some topo maps and practice these skills. Good stuff to know. Y'all stay safe and take care.